Hello and welcome to Witty Banter. My name is Steven. And I'm Lauren. And last time you saw us, this happened. <laughs> she's not excited about it at all. For those listening on the podcast, she's showing off her ring. So I uh, did put it in the podcast, I believe. Uh, I don't think I did the entire <laughs> version. <laughs> but uh, if you wish to see the full version of... Uh, the proposal. Actually, the full version of the proposal wasn't even on the video podcast either. Uh, oh, wait, no. Wait, was it? I don't know, baby. I, You're asking the wrong person. I, yeah, I am asking the wrong person. You're, speaking, I, you're the executive guy. You're the one who does all the technical well, stuff. Well, I, I remember that I did a cut. What I did was I made a cut for just the proposal so that people didn't have to watch the entire podcast to see the proposal. and Which our friends and family greatly appreciated. Yes, because... That is now my number one viewed video, which I predicted was going to happen. So you also greatly appreciate it. Yes. All right. So to start off, like we do every podcast, we have the book game. We're going to remember. We almost forgot it this time, but uh, last minute I'm like, oh, shoot, I almost forgot the books because it's been a hot minute since we did this because we skipped uh, November. Uh, I tried to do, we tried to do these podcasts once a month, uh, but... November, we were kind of busy. We had musicals, we had family, we had the excitement of the engagement, all kinds of stuff. So we decided to skip November and go straight to the Christmas episode. By the way, this is the Christmas episode. I realize that it's coming out after Christmas. Don't care. It's a Christmas episode. Uh, it's also not, are yours Christmas themed? Huh? Are yours, is your stuff Christmas themed? One is. Oh, because mine isn't. That's fine. I didn't know yep. this was supposed to be a continuation of the Halloween episode. No, no, it's not a continuation, but, like, I have one thing that is Christmas related. Okay. So it's not like, it's not like the Halloween one where everything was Halloween related, but, uh, I don't know, it's Christmas time, so I figured it was the Christmas episode. In case, this should prove to people that this is not scripted. <laughs> All right, so are you ready to do the book game? Yeah. Don't know why I did a, a, a punching thing there. You're just that excited. I'm so excited. All right, got your eyes closed? Yes. Oh, you are ready for this. You asked me if I was ready, I said yes. Oh, boy, we are professionals. We're not professionals. All right, book number one. Showing it to the viewing audience on YouTube. So if you want to play along... Now would be a good time to minimize the tab, but keep listening. There you go. So, to start off with, this is a paperback. Okay. Uh, the cover is mostly white with a brown border around the white. So, like, mm -hmm. the center is white and it has a brown border around it. Okay. Uh... The title is very large. Uh, the title is hmm, greenish. I think that's a green. Yeah. You know, our light's not very good in here today because some of the light bulbs burnt out. So great time to choose to do a visual thing. Uh, yeah. So the title is greenish, but the author's name is in the same brown as the border. Uh, I sincerely doubt you're going to get it off of just that. Uh, the picture on the front mm -hmm. is a boy holding a rodent. What? Specific, uh, I can't, I believe it's supposed to be a mouse. It could be a rat, but it's a boy holding some type of rodent, either a mouse or a rat. What? Okay, so obviously you're not getting it off of that. Uh... The picture is very poorly drawn. Excuse me, are you implying I have a very badly designed book? No, I'm saying that this art style is a kind of art style that looks like it was drawn by a child. Like like a four-year-old or a five-year-old. Like that kind of art style where it looks like it was drawn by a kid. Uh, oh. Boy by Roald Dahl. <laughs> I thought I would get you with this one. There it is. I will. Yeah. I was gonna say only boy holding rodent is the only, and I'm like, I, 
Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You, you is that can, right? Yep. You can open your eyes. See? Yay! Yeah. I I was a little bit worried because I wasn't sure. The border threw me off. I had no idea yeah. it had a brown yeah, border. See, brown. Am, am I right? Is that green? Uh, it's blue. It is blue. It's navy blue. But I mean, it kind of has a teal. Like it's kind okay. of it has like a, a greenish blue tip okay. to it. I guess. But yeah, so I was like. I was a little bit worried because I was like, I don't, I didn't pick this from your uh, no, historical section. No, that, that was from the children's section. But that's what I was a little bit worried about because I'm like, is this a book that she did for nostalgia kind of thing, like the other no, one? No, that's a good book. I, I know it's a good book, but like, what I meant was, is this a book that you bought but not read this specific? Remember how that mm -hmm. uh, other one? You're like, see what I know? Yeah. I, you're, you're like, I read this story but not that specific book. Mm -hmm. And so I was wondering if that was going to be this case too. No, I've read this one. In fact, I've also read the sequel, but I found the sequel to be kind of boring, and which is mm. kind of unfair because it's autobiographical. But I was younger when I read it, and it was all about dolls, you know, when he oh, was flying okay. planes and in the war. And so this is like literally his his autobiography of when he was a, a kid. Ah. And the kid version is a lot more entertaining, obviously, than a grown man fighting in wars and driving planes, in my opinion. So I, I, I had both of them at one time, but I got rid of the second one and just kept Boy because it was, it was fun. Cool. All right. So that is a hit for the first book. I just love the look on your face when, you, when I was like, the boy is holding a rat or a rodent. A rodent. Yeah, well, I, I know. It I, is a mouse, I, by the way. It is a mouse. It's okay. Because I wasn't sure if it was a mouse or a rat. And also, I usually try to be. Big mouse. Could I try, be rat, I try to be vague and get more specific because sometimes you get it off the. Vagueness. So it's like, I don't want to get too specific too early to make you just, oh, guess it in two seconds. All right. Ready for number two? Yeah. All right. So number two. Showing the audience. So this is another paperback. Okay. Uh, the cover is... Definitely a bluish color because it's like the night sky. Uh, you do see the ground and the bottom, but the majority of the cover is the night sky. It's not a, in a winter setting, is it? Not that I can tell. There's not a cabin with snow on it? No, there's not a cabin with snow on it. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> wow, if you would have gotten it off of just that, that would have been a new record. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's a, a oh, night wait, sky. Oh, you saw the paperback, didn't you? Yes. Oh, never mind. Never mind, I'm wrong. Okay, I was wrong before, but now I'm really wrong. Uh, it's a night sky. Uh, the type... Oh, is there a circus tent? No. Damn. <laughs> Can I continue my description, please? No, but I know I have a lot of books with night skies on them and ground. I, exactly. <laughs> That's why you should let me describe more to narrow it down. Okay, okay, fine. So the uh, uh, title and author are both in kind of a gold color. Okay. Uh, very stylized for the uh, title uh, with the text there. Okay. Uh, it, and also in kind of a slightly darker gold color, it looks like branches are coming through on the sides. Uh, and the branches are definitely in front of the title because when they cross the title, you still see the branches. So it's branches and then the title. There aren't thorns on the branches, are there? There are not thorns on the branches. Okay, never mind. Uh, the bottom part, um, you see uh, trees. Okay. And this might give it away, but past those trees on the bottom, uh -huh. which are different from the branches on top, like the branches on top are drawn in. The, what the trees on the bottom we see are like look like real trees. Okay. There's a castle. Yep. And the castle appears to have a like red. Uh, roof style to it. You said the book is blue? Well, it's, it's a night sky. So, like, it's a dark... It's, so, it's not like a beige book? No, no, it's like, it's the... With the blue in it. No, okay. it's supposed to look like the night sky, so it's like a dark blue or, you know, almost black kind of thing. Dark blue with a castle. I might be, you know, wrong with the color there, but I mean, when I look at the night sky, you know, it kind of looks like it's blue. Like you see, you see the stars in the night sky. I can only think of one book, and it's not. It's not that. Um, it's a paperback. This is a paperback. 
Uh, how, how thick? What is it? A chonk boy, or is it relatively thin? Uh, it's relatively thin. I would, you know. Um. Yeah, for a paperback, this is fairly, a uh, fairly thin book. So, illustrated branches. Mm-hmm. That I definitely got right. Gold font for author and title. Yep. The title is like has stylized, stylized parts. Stylized. So like uh, at, right. on the end of some of the letters, it gets kind of kind of like a curl to it. I have no idea what this book is. All right, I'll see if I can uh, describe something else. I have, I have zero idea. Uh, on the spine, something interesting. Okay. Some of the viewers on spine. It has at the top like four colored stripes going diagonally at the very top. Looks like blue, green, blue, red. I don't know if that was significant to anything, so that's why I mentioned it. Uh, I will say, okay, I'm going to say this that might help you a little bit here. <laughs> Wait. Oh. No, that's, that font is silver. Sure hope I'm Is it in French? I believe so. It's Harry Potter in French. It's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in French. Yep. You sneaky bastard. <laughs> is it, isn't that gold? Can I look? Well, can you say the part in French? Oh, God, now you're going to put me on the spot, <laughs> make me embarrassed. So it's Harry et, Potter. And l'école de sorcière. Close. What is it? I can't read French. Can I look now? Yes, you can look now. Oh, okay. A l'école des sorciers. Okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. it is. Yeah, it's oh gold, my isn't it? god. What? That's not gold. That's white. That is silver. Oh, if I look at more and more. This is a bad game to play when I don't have a good <laughs> light source. I apologize. Would you have gotten it, though, if I said that it was silver? Yeah, if it was silver, I would have probably gotten it. Or white, yeah. I guess, from, like, from this angle, to me, it looks gold. I do. I'm sorry, honey. I love you, but I do not see anything leaning towards gold. That is, that is white, if anything. If not silver. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have the partially colorblind guy do this, job. What's funny is, like, when you were describing it, it sounded like a Harry Potter book. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, none of the Harry Potter books look like that. But I didn't even consider the idea that it the, could have been one French. of my French editions, which I got in Canada, by the way. Uh, by the that way, was a Montreal book. The clue I was about to give you right before you guessed it was, this is technic like technically the uh, title is in a different language. Well, that would have helped immensely. Yes, that was the clue I was going to give you before you got it. <laughs> All right, so you're two for two. Good lord. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm giving you a hard one this time, huh? Yeah, yeah. You're you're kicking my butt a little bit here. I, you're still winning. I'm just saying. I kind of want to show you the book that I thought it was. Okay. Well, maybe after the afterwards. Afterwards, yeah, I want to show you because it All looks right. very similar. All right. Eyes closed. Yes. Okay. It's hard for me to tell because your hair is a little blocking your eye. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Uh, I love my... how I just called you a bastard and you're saying smart butt instead okay. of smart ass. <laughs> anyway, keep going. I love you. I love you. What's the next book? Tell me. So the next book is a hardcover. Okay. Uh, I didn't even Ooh. notice that when I picked it up. Uh, it's cooler than you thought? Well, I just noticed that it kind of has, uh, it does not have a smooth face. Oh, textured? Yeah, it's uh, uh, like we often call it an uncut face because you can't, when you trim a book. Oh, I should show the audience the book. There's the book audience. Oh, gosh. And as you get, I don't know how well you can see from uh, the video, but it's kind of bumpy on the face here. And so when we are making these kind of books at uh, the publisher, you can't trim the face of the book. Otherwise, you cut all that off and you can't do it. So basically what you ha often have to do is... Are you talking about deckled edges? I don't know if that's what we just call it, uncut face. Are you talking about the, ragged, the face, ragged... right? Not the spine, the face? Hmm? Yeah, the ragged edges on the on the book part? The... Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's, okay, that's deckled edges. Oh, okay. Okay, that's deckled that's, edges, okay. That, that's not what we call it, but we just call it uncut face. Uh, watch, now I'm going to get people who I actually work with saying, No, Steve, we actually do call it deckled edges. You just don't pay attention. All right, so uh, it does have a jacket. Okay. Uh, the, uh, cover is mostly black and white, uh, but the title mm -hmm. is in red. In red? 
and the cover, the picture on the cover is a real life picture, so it's not a drawn picture. Oh, there goes that idea. Okay. So yeah, it's a real life picture. Uh, the title is in red. The author's name, though, uh, is in white. Oh. God, if you get it off of this. No. Again. Those don't have deco edges. Never mind. Those are sprayed edges. Continue. Okay. Yeah, just definitely not sprayed edges. But technically, what I was thinking uh, is no. Which is interesting. Yes. I find this a little interesting for style wise. The title on the cover is red. Yeah. But on the spine, it's white. Hmm. I find that interesting because it's like you think they would want to keep that because it's like very striking that it's red on the cover mm -hmm. with the white and black uh, backdrop or okay, background. Give me, give me Sorry. Uh, all right. So uh, the headband is red and white because <laughs> i know how much you know the headbands of these books oh yeah for the i don't know if i've ever explained this before but yeah. I, I have okay never mind <laughs> if you want to know what a headband is listen to one of the past uh, podcasts so the picture is of a man looking out of an open window on, oh a gentleman in moscow by dumb no but not by dumb <laughs> Shoot, what's his name? It's not Abraham Lincoln. No, it's not. I... <laughs> it's like he wrote Lincoln Highway. Oh. Uh, oh, God. Oh. No. Um. I don't know. What's his name? Amor Toils. There it is. Uh, or Towels? I, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think it is Towels. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. You you can open, you got you got it right. I jump in Moscow. Woo! I was really worried that you were going to get it when I said you know, it's black and white, but the title is red. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The title on the yeah, cover is red, red but, they, but on the spine yeah. is white. And I'm like, I, I, you know, all they would have to have done was like made this portion white mm -hmm. and made this red, and that would have worked. Yeah, but it wouldn't have stood out as much. You see how it's it's against the stark white. It's mm -hmm. you can still see it, but it's not as striking as it is here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like if they made if they made this enclosed area white. Oh, and then made I the thought you meant lettering. the border. No, made the lettering. Yeah, the stuff inside the border. Yes. And then made this red. It would have been much more striking Gentlemen in Moscow. but yeah there you go so yeah that's what you call this is a deckled edge yes oh okay i did I, not I, realize this one had deckled edges yep. cool i learned something today <laughs> woot so there you go three for three again <laughs> and I in terms of uh what i have read technically i have only read one technically because oh, yeah. i've never read harry potter and the sorcerer's stone entirely in french but i have read harry potter and the sorcerer's stone in english so <laughs> yes i uh, so I would say I've not read a gentleman in Moscow yet. Oh yeah? Not yet. I want to. Really? This was on my radar way before anybody realized he was good. Oh. Because then everybody's like, oh my god! Like I was kind of ahead. Of, I still haven't read it though. Trendsetter. I kind of was. Yeah. I was like, this looks really, really good. And then all of a sudden, everyone was losing their mind about how because he wrote another book, like I said, Lincoln Highway, and everyone mm. loves that one. So but that was that's why I was really confused when you said. You know, when you're trying to think of the author, you're like, it's, it's not, not Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. I'm like, I was like, no. Well, I, was, I wasn't sure if it was something Lincoln. Like, I was I'm like, oh. no, that's the name of the book. Never mind. That's not his name. Anyway. All right. Okay. So, uh, I believe you said you also had some kind of game or something like that. It's kind think. of a game. So, it's would you like really to do that next? Game. It's sort of a game. It's a fun thing. All right. Well, would you like to do your fun thing next? Okay. Okay. So, now that we are... Engaged oh. and affianced. Um, there yeah, was, I got a ring too. He did. Uh, there was a, a trend on TikTok ages ago, and mm -hmm. this is so far behind the trend, it's laughable. Like, this is completely irrelevant now. I'm about to say, if you ever watch my <laughs> Twitch, you will know I don't follow trends. Like, right. I've had, uh, I talk to guys at work that also are trying to do Twitch stuff too, and I talk about the games I play, and they're like, well, Steve, that's not really the popular game right now. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing this for popularity. I'm doing this for fun. Same thing with this podcast. Like, yeah, there are probably things I could do to make this a more popular podcast, but it would make it less fun for me. So why would I do that? Well, we're going to have some fun. Yay, fun. Okay. So Yay. to give context, not that this really anyone knows what this means, but this was back when I was in my volume two of my 2022 journaling system. Mm -hmm. I have just, I'm just about to finish volume three to give you some context. And we're about to start volume four, which will be actually volume one of 2023. So, this was a while ago. Mm -hmm. The reason I bring this up is I've had this recorded for a while, but due to the way we've done things, this has never been relevant. So, I have a feeling this makes sense once the game is explained. 
dun, 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 dun. There it is. I'm like, where's the, where's the, hey, oh, wait, wait, hey, hey. The one who did that song might get, you know, copyright. Uh, fun, fun little story while, while we're waiting for her to find her stuff. Uh, are you trying to mouse something to the podcast? No! You realize Why would that I do that? You, well, you realize that people listening to podcasts will have no idea that you're trying to mouse something Listen, to them. Listen, I don't mean to be, but I'm kind of partial to the visible people. Okay. I just can't help it. We got a thing going on. All right. We're connected. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, I recently did a Twitch stream where I uh, streamed uh, Fortnite. And when I put the video up on YouTube, I actually got a copyright warning thing on there because apparently Fortnite apparently uses its music that Russia does not approve of me using or something like that because it's like you're getting a cop, you know, you got a cover anything, you're not getting a strike against you, but it will not be shown in certain countries. I'm like, oh, what's this? It's like your video will not be shown in Russia. I'm like, oh no, I'm losing my Russia audience. All right, you ready? Did I, did I fill enough time for you? I, I was ready a while ago, which is why the audience and I were having our moment, but you were you were not listening. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have some fun. Fun, yes! Okay, so this trend, I think it was called the boyfriend. It was something boyfriend because it had to do with, there's a list of things. Mm -hmm. I should, should I look, not be looking? Yes, don't oh, look. There's a list of I things. I see it. There's a list of things. And basically, I'm going to tell you a thing on the list. Okay. And you have to come up with something. If I, mm -hmm. me. You. Me. You. If I were these things, what would I be? I see. So, like, if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? Or exactly. if you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? Yes. I already got that answer, but let's keep moving on. Uh, <laughs> My brain totally went a different... I was, I was about to slap you with this book. Like, what kind of dog would I be? Like, I got super... I got all defensive there for <laughs> a second. I went, no, the, I went the naughty way. I, I didn't realize you meant like a literal, like, pupper breed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love I, you. I, I, for some kind of, I often get in trouble. We're because, engaged now. I get mad at him yeah, a lot more. Well, also, for things that she <laughs> thinks I said. Yeah, that's true. But takes it in a wrong context. So, like, very often, I will say something completely innocent and get in trouble for it. And I'm like, what? I, and, and I'll be confused because I won't understand why I'm in trouble. Or or another common thing is I will say something, you will mishear it, and I will get in trouble. And suddenly she's getting mad at me, yeah. and because she misheard it, I'm like, what is wrong with me saying I'm making you eggs for breakfast? And she's like, oh, that's what you said. Not an actual uh That was not reference. a good example. No. No. Okay. But they get the idea. Yeah, I they're, think they're smart people. They know. I have a very smart audience. <laughs> you do. Okay. So, if I were. If you were. Okay. If I were a rich man, you have a dee -bee -dee -bee -dee. Sorry. <laughs> if I were a color. Mm hmm. Oh, sorry. I thought you. I thought you were going to continue with. What would I be? So I did. What would I be? I <laughs> I did. See the way it works. The way it works on the, on the TikTok. It's like if I were a color, image, 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 a thing, image, image, image. I haven't seen these TikToks, <laughs> so I, and I didn't want to interrupt you. So because I I had just interrupted you and got glared at. So you're like, if I were a color, I was like, mm hmm. I would oh, that's be... the end. Uh, let's see. Well, I can't, I can't. You can't that, think too long. Oh, I can't think too long? Not too long. Oh, you can, you can think, but not too long. Uh, I would say that you are uh, pink. Oh, that's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's Well, really I was cute. going to say rainbow, but I'm like, no, that's nah, not. No, 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 that's cheating. That's not a color. It's not a color. It's mm -hmm. not a color. Even though, what did you say your favorite color was the first time I asked it? I know, but that's not the same thing. That's I know. just describing that's, me. That's why it took me a while, because that was my gut instinct first thought mm -hmm. which i'm like but that doesn't work and i have a heart once when i when i go for a gut instinct first thought if my first thought is wrong it's hard for me to come up with a second thought mm -hmm. like remember when we were playing the uh, blank slate game mm -hmm. anytime and like the, every time i was uh struggling mm -hmm. it's because my first thought that i had was something that was like no one else is going to 
get this answer so I can't use it. Now I have to come up with a second answer and I couldn't think of some second because my brain's like, no, no, this is the answer. This is the answer. Well, to give you a bit of a, it just helps. Okay. It's, yes, it's interesting because people just want to know the answers, mm -hmm. but it's also very much, people have interpreted this as very much of an aesthetic challenge because it's cool to see like all the things aesthetically lined up next to each other because mm. then you kind of get like a visual like if you see these things these things evoke the essence of the person you're describing it's kind of cerebral like it's not just it, it's it's simple like it's mm -hmm. it's no big deal but at the same time it's like oh that's really cool like if so example the color pink the fact that that mm -hmm. and actually i think actually we could i'd be curious to know why well, how about we go through? Should we all, do them all first? And all then we first, go and then I'll why? go. I mean, do you want me to explain at each answer no, as we'll I give it? No, go back. We can okay. Go back. Let's, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We did not think this through. Now we know. No, okay. So, pink. Final again, answer. Final answer. Okay. Number Once two. Once again, not scripted. Number two. <laughs> Number two. An animal. Corgi. <laughs> no hesitation whatsoever. A season. Fall. A gemstone. That's a hard one. Mm -hmm. And some of them aren't quite as simple as you think. Like, they're kind of abstract. Ruby. Interesting. Five. A place. Place. Mm -hmm. Coffee house. <laughs> a flavor. You can't say coffee. I mean, you could. <laughs> you don't like coffee, though. No, I don't like coffee. That's why I didn't want to say coffee. A uh, flavor. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. Oh. Number seven, a planet. Venus. Okay. Coming in hot. A food. Sorry, I'm blanking on this one for some there's reason. There's too many I like, isn't there? Yeah, there's, well, that, there's that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say fr fresh, break, uh, fresh baked bread. Oh, okay. Specific, too. Okay. A type of weather. Sunny. A flower. The problem is I don't know much about flowers. Uh, Again, it's like you see that, you think of me. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's that? Uh, I think it's are they lilacs? Is that is that the type that's like it's a bush and when it comes down? Yes. Like, okay, the that's it. Ones? Yes. Yes. Oh, I count that as a flower. Um, a Disney princess. Ooh, that's a tough one. I will accept what Disney classifies as a princess, even though technically they're not princesses. Uh, I was gonna go with Rapunzel. Yay! Douche. <laughs> Apparently, that's the right answer. <laughs> Um, a movie. Not just a character, but a whole movie. Whole movie that makes me think of you. Yeah. Uh, it describes I, me. Uh, oh, wait, is it what that makes me think of you or it describes you? Yes. That's the whole point of this thing. Because <laughs> the only thing that's coming to my mind is Hunchback of Notre Dame. I mean, that works. If I were an element. Are we talking uh, element of nature or periodic table? We're talking element of nature. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm I... not a noble gas. <laughs> really trying hard not to make a joke there. <laughs> really, really trying hard not to make a joke there. What I was going to say was, 
I was going to name like one of one of the periodic tables because nope. I, nope. I'm. <laughs> that's why I I'm like I need to specify this because I'm thinking when I when someone says to me element I'm thinking hydrogen oxygen nitrogen you know calcium stuff like that not and I'm like I don't think that's what they think so think it, think yoga not science. Yeah, because I'm great at that. I'm in, what what element? If water. I'm water. Water? Mm -hmm. Okay. An era. An era? An era. Like, it doesn't have to be, you can like do decades or. Oh, okay. It doesn't have to be like a literal like, I was like era. What? I was like, what, like the Bronze Age? No. <laughs> No, like, okay, like I see. the 20s, the, you know, uh, <laughs> medieval ages, renaissance. I would say the 90s. The 90s? Well, that, mm -hmm. that's appropriate. Okay. A pastime. Pastime. Reading. <laughs> A dessert. I almost said a desert. I'm like, no, <laughs> not a desert. I'm not the Sahara. A dessert. A dessert. Yes. <sighs> Sorry, this is this is a hard one for me. That's okay. Uh, Like I say, they're kind of abstract. They're kind of. I don't know if this counts. Mm -hmm. So you can tell me if this counts or not. Hot chocolate with whipped cream on top. I don't think that's really a dessert. Okay. I say that's a beverage. You name it for dessert. Y yeah. I I. Mm. Now I'm gonna press you. Okay. <laughs> Did uh. I? Uh, hmm, boy. <laughs> we just watched Jeff Dunham. <laughs> you're good, you're good, you're good! Aye! Uh, our neighbor's gonna hate us now. They already uh, do. Yeah, they do. Ah, <laughs> uh, see here, dessert, 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 dessert. Chocolate, we'll go with chocolate ice cream. Okay. That, that one, I, I don't know why I struggled so hard with that one. You don't have to be so specific either, I mean. I do. Okay. This one's gonna be hard for you. <laughs> I was saying, I just struggled with the last one. It's like, no, this one's gonna be hard. Why? I'm gonna laugh if I just don't nail it right off the bat. Anesthetic. A what? Anesthetic. Can I have an example, please? Yes. Um, cottagecore. What? Dark academia. What? <laughs> don't. Basically, it's a vibe. It's a visual vibe. Uh <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm gonna have trouble with it. I don't know what the heck it is. <laughs> would you like to, would you, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I can't look it up on my phone, can I, hon? <laughs> You're looking up different aesthetics for me. Um, <laughs> can I do an element on a periodic table? No! <laughs> I know those better. Okay. Indie aesthetic. Grunge. Soft girl. Y2K. Dark and light academia. Visco girl. Kawaii. Uh, so, like, this is an example of dark uh, academia. Uh, is there a such a thing as light academia? Yes, there is. In All fact, right, it we're... looks like this is kind of. Yep, there we go. Light academia. Light, okay. <laughs> 
great uh, entertainment for those listening to the podcast <laughs> of us staring at her smartphone. Okay, and number 18. Eight, there's a city. A city. A Wait, city. Then, oh, I did a place. A place. There's a difference. Well, I'm glad I didn't name a city for the place. Uh, hmm. It's hard because I'm not a city gal at all. Mm. Nor are you. No. <laughs> uh, However, I'm going to go with New York. Okay. All right, we have your answers. All right, so now you want me to go through and explain so, each one? Yes, how you would describe your fiance, you have done so. Okay. This, these are the things that encompass me, remind mm -hmm. you of me, are me. You look at them, you see them, you go, that is Lauren. That is Lauren in a thing. So, you said pink for color? Yep, because it's a very warm color and a very happy color. And when I see you, I feel warm and happy. You feel pink? Yep, I feel pink. That's adorable. Number two, you said an animal. You said corgi. So, I feel that this uh, goes without explanation for you, <laughs> but for our viewing audience, she identifi identifies, identifies. identifies with two types of animals, <laughs> corgis and guinea pigs. Both very similar creatures. Yes, and I went with corgi because they tend to have more energy than guinea pigs. You've and never had a guinea pig, have you? No. <laughs> but you're not wrong. Yeah. These do have energy. Yeah. And so, yeah, it also, uh, like, they're just, you look bad. And so, yeah. They're like, short. Yeah, they are short. They're short. They are short. And, and just, they wiggle. Shit, yeah, they really so cute. You want to pet them? <laughs> And yeah, you know, and, that's what people want to do. They want. And to I like dogs, so that's true. Of the like, if you well, told, you had hamsters. I did have hamsters. You're not, not a real person. Yes. Oh yeah. So I don't know. I probably mentioned this best time in the podcast, but I hate when people give you a choice, and if you choose one, they're like, that means you hate the other. It's like, no, you gave me a choice between two things I like, and I chose which one I liked more. So it's like, just because I like dogs better than guinea pigs does not mean I hate guinea pigs. I never said you did hate guinea pigs. I know, but I'm, I'm saying this to the audience. Ah. Because this this is a personal... Uh, grievance. Grievance. I Yes. Good word. Thank you, honey. Grievance I have with people. Because so often, I people say, are you a cat or a dog person? I say, like, I'm a dog person. Why do you hate cats? What about me saying which type I prefer means I hate the other? You know? Mm -hmm. But anyway, sorry. Tangent. Uh, so yeah, that's why we ch chose Corby. Number three, a season. You said fall. Well, because fall or is your, autumn. Yes, your fall is your favorite season. You love Halloween. You love uh, the cooler air of fall, but it's not freezing cold like it is right now in winter. Yep. And the colors of the leaves. You're a very colorful person. So yeah, it just, just fall just screams you. Oh, from the ice cream fall. Fall. Yes. I'm squirrely today. Oh. <laughs> okay. Number four, it was a gemstone. You said ruby. Why did you say ruby? Uh, I'm very intrigued by this one. Because, so, this might sound a little weird. Is that the only one you know? No, I okay. know many gemstones. <laughs> well, I, I don't. So. I don't know the meaning behind any gemstones. So okay. if you're, if you're, I know you do the. Uh, each gemstone has like a meaning and an energy and a feeling. And I don't know any of those, so don't look into it like that. Like, oh, you said ruby. Rubies represent this, this, and this. So no, that's I don't actually means. know what rubies. I mean, I can guess just based off of, you know, common denominator facts. But I don't actually know what they signify. I'm just genuinely curious. Uh, aesthetically. Because. Every, everything I'm Basically, curious. the main reason I thought of it is, it's like, okay, what color represents love? Red. Aww. What Gemstone is red. Ruby. Because remember, that was one I was struggling with. Yeah. And that's why. It's because, like, in my head, I don't, like, to me, it's calling someone an emerald or calling someone a sapphire doesn't mean anything to me so it's personally. So like, it's like the color that it evokes? Kind so, of? yeah. So, I went purely by the color. Okay. Okay. Now I get it. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, I do not understand where that came from. Yeah. Even a little bit. And I don't know any pink gemstones, so. Rose quartz. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, 
by the place you said coffee house yeah because what you love coffee and like when i you know uh go to a cut co- coffee house for those listening she's taking a sip of coffee a chunk of coffee uh like when we go to a coffee house we sit and talk and stuff like that and you've told me before about how sometimes uh uh, before you met me and even like sometimes when you have the day off and I'm working you will just go to a coffee house and hang out and read and stuff like that so when I see a coffee house I kind of think of you sitting there with a book pretty self-explanatory a flavor you said chocolate because chocolate! <laughs> that's why Spongebob no more. Yeah, yeah, okay. that, no. <laughs> it's because I personally love chocolate I, I mean the bag of M&Ms that our friend Zoe gave us two days ago is almost gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's it's a uh, something I love that I never get tired of. Okay, moving on. <laughs> For those listening, she just gave an aww face. A planet. You said Venus. Because? Because of my razors. <laughs> just kidding. Keep going. No. <laughs> I thought you were going to say because you're gassy. Uh no, I said I'm not a noble <laughs> gas. We uh, talked about this. But no, Venus, because Venus is the Roman goddess of love. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, eight, you said a food, and your food was fresh baked bread. Very specific. Because it is, a, like, when you smell fresh baked bread, it just brings a smile to your face. You're like, oh. And everyone, like, no one complains that, well, I guess other than people who have a gluten intolerance, <laughs> no one complains yeah. about there being fresh baked. F- why do I have? Why did I have to say baked? I'm not sure. Fresh baked bread at the table. Like everyone is always happy that there's fresh bread at the table. A type of weather. You said sunny. Yeah, I think that's kind of self-explanatory. You're very sunny personality. <laughs> Um, a flower. You said lilac. Because uh, uh, my folks have a lilac bush in their backyard. At least I think that's what it is. It might be something else. If it, if it's a bush, it's probably a lilac. Yeah. If it is something else, my, and my mom is listening to this, you can mention it in the comments and change my answer to that. If it's a bush with purple flowers on it, yeah. it's probably lilac. It and it smell good. Huh? Does it smell good? I believe so, yeah. Then, yeah it's been a while a since I've smelt it. Uh, but yeah, just like uh, it was uh, in the yard, our yard was fairly fairly uh, sparse for stuff after my dad did a clear cut of all the jack pines. Uh, and so it's like it's kind of on the corner. And when it did bloom, it was like this one source of color. So it was the flower that I often thought of. So I'm just that one little spot of color. Yeah. I guess. I, sm- like, I smell good. Remember, this is one I struggle with a lot. Sorry, so sorry like, you remember, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Because I'm just like, you know, rose. Well, you're lucky that lilacs are like my favorite flower in the entire world. So. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. That, 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 that's why I answered that. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, because I pay attention and you've said this before. No, she hasn't. I uh, have so. I love lilacs. You might have said that you like or love <laughs> lilacs, but I, I guarantee you have never told me that lilacs were your favorite. Number 11, Rapunzel, Disney princess. Uh, I just think kind of personality-wise, like <laughs> how how she's like very driven. She's like, I'm going to do this. I'm, you know, I want to do this, but still wanting to make sure that people are happy and like cares about those around her. Even even if there are people that aren't worth caring about, like in the movie with the mother, like, <laughs> like, yeah, I just, like I said, you just, of all the Disney princesses, she has the closest uh, personality to you. I would agree with that. Number 12, a movie, you said Hunchback, of Notre Dame. So for this one, it's more of... Not so much this movie describes you as this movie makes me think of you because... It kind of does, though. I mean, eh, it's pretty formative in my youth. Yeah. But I wouldn't say it describes you, but like, you know, I mean, one, it's in France, which you speak French and stuff like that. It's kind of uh, why I took French, yeah, in all honesty. It's your favorite Disney movie. Mm-hmm. And also, it was one of the first deep conversations we ever had. Mm-hmm. 
uh, probably the first deep conversation we had back before we dated, mm -hmm. uh, we were, uh, so if you watch my video talking about how Lauren and I became a couple, you will know that we were, when we, uh, before she asked me out, we were talking a lot. And one of the things we talked about was favorite Disney movie. And when I said my favorite Disney movie was uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, she's like, oh! And so we kind of bonded over there. Yeah, okay, I don't think I made that noise. You've made a lot of noises today. <laughs> today? Yeah, but not when I first was talking to you. Fine, it's like, oh! There you go. Okay. It's much better. But uh, I would say, excitement-wise, you were like, oh! Well, yeah. You were like super excited that that was my favorite movie. Obviously, because everyone thinks In it's... every aspect except comedy. Yes. Because you cannot beat Robin Williams. No. That Aladdin has an unfair advantage in that aspect. It's still a very funny movie. Uh, I would say probably to at least top five for comedy in my Disney movies. Moving on, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Elements. You said water. This was the other one that I thought was interesting. So, <laughs> when 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 you when you uh, said like not like a I noble said, gas. Yeah, I went to Avatar: The Last Airbender. I mean, I figured. And so, like of those elements, water seemed to be the one that best fit you because it's flowing and cool and the, like because it's because cool. cool, it's like uh, fire. You know, I, I was like, no, I definitely don't see you as fire. Earth, like, Ugh. no, I don't see you as that. Wind, no, I don't see you as that. But water is steady, it's vitalizing, you know, it's essential. Well, all the elements are essential in some aspects, but it's just like, he thinks I'm essential. Yeah, thank you. But yeah, so that's why I went with water, is because I went to the, you know, everything changed when the Fire Nation invaded. Well, it's really, really funny that you say that, because astrologically speaking, I am a fire sign. I'm Leo. I'm literally fueled by the sun, which is interesting because I've never identified with fire as my element ever, but I never identified with any of the other ones either. Mm. Like none of them made sense to me. I'm trying to like step into the You're fire. the avatar. <laughs> you're all the you're all all the elements in one. No, I like But once that. again, I could, just like Rainbow, I couldn't say that answer. No, that's, a, that's good. I think that's a nice alternative, which is funny because it's the exact opposite of what I actually am. So, that's right. interesting. Anyway, which is funny, though, too, because you're a Pisces, right? Yes. Pretty sure you're water, aren't you? Or are you well, because it's a Pisces I think I must say, yeah, you're a fish. I'm assuming you're a water sign. Everyone who's doing astrology is like, oh, my God, how do you not know this? Uh, but that's even funnier. The fact that you're a fish and I'm a lion, we're like exactly the opposite in terms of... Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> we're Together on. we're a lionfish. A lion? Ooh. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be an entertaining podcast to watch and, and listen to. An era. You said the 90s. Because uh, I existed mostly back then. <laughs> yeah. But I don't like... Because a lot of times we, when we bond over our past, it's stuff that happened like in the '90s. So, do you, but do you think like the general vibe of the '90s would also describe me? I think so too. Because it was a simpler, wholesome time. Yeah. Filled with beanie babies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just like and bad taste in I, clothing. I, I, I I'm like. That, well, this no, the early 2000s is probably worse in terms of fashion choices. Yeah. Fashion choices. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. Sorry, all the Swedish listeners. All the Swedish listeners. We got so many Swedish listeners. <laughs> Swedish listeners. It's okay, they left with the Russians. <laughs> No, the Russians invaded them, and now they can't listen anymore. Oh, too soon! No! Bad! Okay, sorry. No! Uh, no! So, you say I'm bad, but you're laughing at it, so that makes you just as bad. Uh, anyway. Anyway, so, yeah. That was another one I struggled with, and it was more of a hard to explain, but this is just my gut feeling going to the 90s. Okay. A pastime. You said reading. G. I uh, yes. <laughs> I wonder why I said reading. G. Can't can't figure that one out. But also also there's additional. Also also, 
is because reading is the pastime that you have helped me nurture back into me since starting dating because before I dated you I didn't read anything past comics yeah and not like comic books like newspaper comics like comics or web yeah. comics and stuff like that mm -hmm. like I just stopped reading because college sapped all the enjoyment of reading out of me like college does it did for a lot of people all right a dessert chocolate ice cream so you could have just said ice cream I, I could have just said ice that's cream that's what I meant it's like you don't have to be so specific but chocolate ice cream is my favorite type of ice cream and so you know go go on with your favorite and like once again like when I, when I go to Culver's what do I get everything chocolate yep I get a chocolate uh concrete mixer with Choc uh, dove chocolate and chocolate cake. So basically you're copping out with most of these by saying everything that's your favorite is me. Yeah, because you're my favorite. Aww. But that doesn't really, I mean, I'm sorry. am I really chocolate ice cream? Really? I don't know. I'm <laughs> bad at this game. I, I don't think in this, I, I don't think in this style. An aesthetic. With my help, you chose Light Academia. <laughs> Which is the correct answer, by the way. I would also well, accept... Well, because you were going through it, and I'm like, no, she's not that, she's not that, she's not that. Dark Academia was the first one I saw. I'm like, okay, well, I definitely think Academia for her. But then you show me the Dark Zone. I'm like, no, that's not how I feel her in, in Academia. Then you show me I'm like, okay, there you go. There. I would also accept Twee Hipster and Light Cottagecore. You're welcome. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, city. also fangirl. Fangirl is also an acceptable. Okay. Aesthetic. Um, and then eighteen was a city, and you said New York. I'm guessing I know why. Why do you think? Because Broadway. Broadway. Yes. Because Broadway. Yep. That is, because I can't. You know, like I could have taken a cockpot and said Hannibal, because that's where you're from, or Stevens Point, because that's where I met you. But it's like, you know, this one I tried a little bit more to have something to do with you versus just my favorite, mm -hmm. which I don't really have a favorite city, because I've only been to so few. I would have also uh, accepted Montreal for the record. Oh yeah, I didn't think of Montreal. I was, I was only thinking of American cities. I didn't even think of anything outside the US. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm <laughs> wow. bad at this game. <laughs> You're not bad at this game. Yep. No, it's just, I, I, it's just interesting. I lost this game, I think. You did not. Yeah, I, I got a losing score. That's not how this game works. Not Who's the I... bad guy? What? Strange World. Remember? Oh, there are no bad guys. Literally. So, watch Strange World to get that reference. It's so good. It is a good movie. Um, So now what I really want to do is I want to, like, make an actual, like, aesthetic of these things all, like, next to each other. Mm -hmm. And I want you to, like, look at it and then and see, see like, oh, yeah, okay, this this works. Or be like, oh, wow, it's a hot mess. I really screwed up. Cause I'm or that, I'm, you know. I'm terrible at this game and you I lose. Not... For those listening to the podcast, in case the mic didn't... Uh, pick it up. She just kind of did a grumble growl at me and is very exhausted with me So I should try to do something nice and adorable to make her remember that she uh, actually likes me Ah, Hi, I kissed her <laughs> and I know that the bike's not gonna pick up that kiss I, yes. the, I'm about to say in order for me to do a kiss that the mic does pick up we're gonna get taken off of YouTube for ex explicit content I'm looking at my eyebrows <laughs> Anyway uh, all right, so there we go. That was my game. That was, that was a fun game. Maybe, was it? Yeah. Maybe next time we'll uh, do it with me asking you the questions. Oh, that's a good idea. Problem is, not, you, you've probably already gotten an answer for every one of those, don't not you? Not all of them. Oh. I, I, have, I have several that just naturally come to mm -hmm. mind, but like a lot of them I would have to be like, hmm. Oh, okay. So I don't feel if, bad now that I struggle well, on some of Well, flower's hard. Yes, flower is hard. So is gemstone. If you don't Gemstone's just, not hard. Well, for well, me. Yeah, for you, okay. But for me, fl flowers, I don't really know that much about flowers, but to begin with, it's like, I don't know. All right. I don't know. So, okay. so hold, my, on. hold on. I'm holding, I'm, I'm holding, prepared. I'm holding, I'm holding. I'm, I'm not holding. prepared. Hold. Okay. I'm prepared. All right. Oh, well, I'm prepared. Uh, so, my uh, Christmas uh, idea here, like I said, it's, Christmas episode, but the whole episode is going to be themed Christmas. Maybe we'll do that next year, just do a straight up Christmas episode. But we're allowed. We've had a busy last yeah. couple of months. So for this one, and this is something like we could do next year too. Uh, an idea we can do next year too is just to share a beloved Christmas memory. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be your favorite Christmas memory or anything like that. Just a Christmas memory that, you, that a beloved Christmas memory. So not one that you hate it. 
So if you want, I can share mine while you think. Is that what you want? I, yeah, because you're probably going to have to. So the one that I thought of right away when I came up with this idea is the year that my mom was the most clever I have ever seen her. So a long time ago, uh, when I was in high school, oh God. It's, it's kind of depressing where I can say a long time ago when I was in high school and that isn't a uh, exaggeration. Many moons ago, when I was a teenager. Well, it was over, it was two decades ago. That's a long time. Many moons ago. Many, many moons. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, no, we're not getting old man went into this. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, it was back when Diablo 2 first came out and that is the game I wanted the most. That was my number one Christmas present and I made sure my mom knew it was my number one uh, Christmas present that I wanted. And a lot, a lot of the times if I brought this up or brought Christmas up in general, she's like, nope, you're getting uh, underwear for Christmas. You're getting underwear for Christmas. That was her joke. And so uh, Christmas morning comes and we're opening our presents. And I'm, you know, I'm opening one and my mom it's like, oh, oh, there you go. You know, here, open this one first, Steve. So I'm opening it. And when I open the box, it's underwear. <laughs> and I laugh. My mom, my mom has a camera. Because back then she would take pictures of us uh, opening the, the gifts. You were like, she holy shit, you weren't kidding. And so, like, she's like, hold it up. And so I don't, I don't even look down. I'm looking at my mom the entire time. I just reach down, grab it, and hold up the underwear so she can take a picture. And then she goes, all right, now look down. And I looked down, and underneath the underwear was Diablo 2. So she, you know, so I was like, ah, and she got a I, I think she got a picture of me being like super like excited. So she got like a genuine excited response because, you know, I had no idea that's what was under the underwear. And so it's just like, that was my, one of my mom's most clever moments ever. Probably the most clever moment was putting the underwear on top of the game I wanted. It's so like, ah! So that is one of one of my beloved Christmas memories. Okay, I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> I think you cheat almost every podcast somehow. Of course I do. It's what I do. Okay, so that I don't have that big of a story, but it, I have. It doesn't have to be just a beloved. No, no, no. I know, but I have like I have very three very specific memories that add up to a perfect Christmas. <laughs> And they're all very short. <laughs> they don't oh, actually stories. Oh, okay, they're okay, sentences. Okay. I'm going to do it when the only two are I, last. I know. So, number one, the first one that came to my brain was, it wasn't even a Christmas specifically, it was just Christmas adjacent, mm -hmm. because it was the first time that my grandma Pat had me help her decorate sugar cookies. I count that as a Christmas memory, even though it didn't happen on Christmas. Right. Because, like, yeah. that was the first time that I truly felt like I had been embraced into mm -hmm. that side of the family. And it was really awesome. Because right. that's, like, a very beloved, like, big deal tradition mm -hmm. that we always would do. And that was, like, the first time that happened was, like, such a big deal. The second thing was my dad, <laughs> when he had a second apartment, <laughs> he really wanted to get a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. But... You know, Christmas trees take effort, and like it was just, it was a lot. So we found this tree that was supposed to go outside. It was supposed to be a decoration for outside, and it was, it was a tree, but it was all just bare bones. Like it was the uh, skeletal structure of a tree, and all those bare bones branches were wrapped up with lights, mm -hmm. right? So like by outside, it looks like a really pretty tree, but when you just look at it in the daylight, it's kind of sad. And we laughed our butts off. We called it the weed. Because mm -hmm. it looked, it did. It looked like a weed. So, like, the weed is a very beloved Christmas thing that I very severely miss. But it died a long time ago. <laughs> I'm not sure if Dawn let us keep it. I think she did. You'll know, Dawn. Correct me. Did you let us keep the weed for a couple of years? I know it had to live outside. Mm -hmm. Like it was meant to be in real life. Yeah. Like, it, it's filled, it fulfilled its life purpose before it eventually expired. It got to live outside. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't let it in the house, mm -hmm. which makes it even better. And it was always, it wasn't even the one, like, like our tree is all white lights. It was, mm -hmm. like, every color of Rainbow light. light. So it was obnoxious. I personally don't like rainbow lights. I like them in this instance. But, like, in general, as an aesthetic, I mm -hmm. do not like rainbow lights. I find them to be very dated. And 
I feel like it's great if you have kids. I feel like if you have kids, rainbow lights are very adorable. But as an adult, I'm like, I will never have rainbow lights in my home. Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no, you are not allowed to bring rainbow lights in this house. Stop ah! thinking it. Stop <laughs> thinking it. Anyway, the third, the third and final situation is <laughs> I have a plush of Jack Skellington mm -hmm. in his Santa outfit. Yes. <laughs> and when we bought it, my girls, Kat and Ashley, in college, we went to the Disney store one time. And that's where I bought him. Because I'm like, this is so cute. I'd never seen a Santa Jack before. Mm -hmm. I'd seen regular Jacks, but I'd never seen a Santa Jack. So I had to buy him, so I did. So Santa Jack was a fixture in our dorm room. He was always there. Like, it was great. And <laughs> there was one time... <laughs> I don't remember when, but we, I had Santa Jack with me in the car, but I don't think it was when we brought him home. I don't know where, I don't know why he was in the car. And I don't know why, but I had, this cat was driving and I had him sneak up behind her and be like, hi. And she was like, bah! and she like almost drove into a ditch. She confiscated Jack and she threw him in the glove compartment. Like he was contortioned into the glove compartment. And we have a photo. It's the funniest damn photo. He just looks so happy, but he's just like, hi, my life sucks. It's just, it's, yeah, Ashley and I abused the hell out of Cat with Jack. He said he had history. She doesn't like him. She used to not like him. I don't know if she's given, forgiven him now. But, and then Ashley also, there was this one song I think it was by Seether. Yeah, it was a Seether song. It's a metal song. And there's a part where it's, I want to yell it from the rooftops down. And she would always take Jack and she would whip him around. <laughs> Hang on. This, keep the people okay. busy. <laughs> wow. So, for those listening to the podcast, Lauren has leapt from the couch to go to our bedroom to get this Jack, hopefully to uh, give the people a viewing... Uh, idea of what's going to at least she's going to give a demonstration <laughs> because she's now behind the couch and i am now concerned that i'm going to get hit with a jack uh i'm going to get jacked uh oh no nope, she's getting uh some other thing uh oh are you getting the book first that of just... all, yes i forgot to do this okay first of all do you remember the harry potter book yes this is the book i thought you meant okay i can see that yeah and why you asked it was a cabin this is the book that I thought he meant. It looks very similar to the Harry Potter book, but not at all. But you can understand why I thought that they were the same book. Anyway, so, this is Jack. Oh, yeah, Jack. <laughs> I that's, love him very exactly much. Exactly how he sounds. Exactly. And so, Ashley, this is for Ashley. Hey, Ashley, Ashley, you have to watch this episode now because this is for you. This is for the public and for you. This is for so, you, Ashley. <laughs> So what she would do is she would sing this song, and she'd go, I want to yell it from the rooftops down. <laughs> <laughs> she just, what she I want to yell it from the rooftops down. <laughs> and it's just the beard and the whipping. And yeah, the... I'm nauseous now. Yeah, he's had a rough... I throw up, I don't got a stomach, I'm just a skeleton. He's got a rough go. He's been in a glove Ugh. compartment. He, he's gone to heavy metal concerts many a time. And, he, and that's... I feel we're in a beautiful relationship here. So that's it. That's I, I oh, that's not very Christmas specific at all, but it's got a Santa I, Jack in it. It works. <laughs> wow. You see why I had to do all three? Mm -hmm. It was a spectacle. All right, so... Uh, looks like you're getting close to Woo! an hour here. Yes. Which we have learned that's how long the episodes are. They are an hour, not two hours. Those are my Twitch streams. I admitted I was wrong. However, I believe on that same episode, I pointed out how I was right in another aspect. I can't remember what the other thing was that we were talking about. <laughs> if you're trying to throw me off my game by having Jack look at me, it's not going to work. I miss my calling. Yeah, I could have been a puppeteer. I would have been the voice. Hi. Merry Christmas, everybody. Anyway, you have one more thing? Yes. So those who watched our uh, last episode remember that I decided to uh, discontinue the ending each episode with 
guessing what the old saying was because oh. <laughs> I was wrong. He, he did throw me. <laughs> anyway, yes. Uh, mainly because it was like getting kind of hard for me to find old sayings uh, because most of the sites just kept saying the same old sayings over and over again. And also like a lot of the sites I was looking up were giving old sayings that weren't obscure, like, you know, save a, save a penny, earn a penny. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it was common old sayings that Indeed. are still used today. Save and... a horse, ride a cowboy. Yes. I'm Who so... put a quarter in you today? I don't know. I don't know because I was fairly you, docile. Yeah, you were. You, for reference, today we've been kind of chill. We were kind of laying around, reading, playing on our phones, stuff like that. It's been a chill day. <laughs> I put I... this. I put this camera on, and suddenly she is go 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 go. All right. <laughs> so, uh. We decided that what we were going to switch it to. <laughs> yes. I'm going to push forward. You are not Do going it. to derail me. No, I'm not trying to. Yeah, no, you're not trying to. I, it's not what I said. I just said you're not going to. Okay. Is go to uh, kiss, <gasps> kill, marry. Yes, I remember this. Yes. I spent such a long time. I'd forgotten. Doing doing the polite version of kiss, kiss, kill. Mary. Wait, what? There's another way of saying it that uses the F word. Yes, I know. That's so this is the polite version. Yes. You look confused. Kiss Mary. Kill. Yeah. 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 So so it's polite because I'm saying kiss. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say I'm like the what? last you're, horse you're finally crossed the line. No, I'm like you're doing it right. Why is it wrong? Okay, never I'm mind. Not, I'm not doing it wrong. I'm just saying I'm doing the nice version. Well, you said so, kiss, kiss. I'm like, what's the kiss, kiss? Oh, kiss, kill, marry, or marry, kiss, kill. Kiss, marry, kill. <laughs> I'm very confused. Kiss, okay. kiss, marry, kill, kill, marry, kill, kiss. That's kiss. what you were saying. And I was like, you're not making any logical sense. Okay. Uh, whoever said I was a logical person. Uh, lots of people, but okay, go ahead. All right, so I give her three characters. I decided to use fictional characters so that this wouldn't get weird that we're talking about real people. This rule might change in the future. I don't know. It is a soft rule, but for now, we're only going to use fictional characters. I feel like if it does, we should stick to historical figures. Yes, yeah. yes. No and one, not no real one, people. No one living. Yes, there you go. So, for this first one, yes. I did a theme. Oh. You will be able to find out, the, discover the theme very quickly once I say the three names. Okay. So the three names. Okay. The three uh, characters are. Yes. Jafar from Aladdin. Okay. Hades from Hercules. Ah. <laughs> and Clayton from Tarzan. Oh. And the theme is? Disney villains. There you go. So, which was kind of hard because uh, a lot of Disney villains are female or animals. Because yeah. I, I was going to go Scar. I'm like, wait, no, that's an animal. That, you know, that makes us. <laughs> I would weird. totally do animals. But like, like, <laughs> crazy. Uh, if I do that, I want all three to be animals. Uh, like, I don't want two humans and an animal because then it's, if I feel it's kind of skewed one way or another because one's an animal. Mm -hmm. So, well, Jafar, yeah. Hades, Clayton. So, give me some time here to think. So, kill who, Clayton. You're. <laughs> Wow, no hesitation on that. Kill Clayton. Kill Clayton. Kill Clayton's Clayton. just obnoxious. I don't like Clayton. I just don't. Um, Which is funny because, like, of the of the three, I feel he is the most like stereotypical, supposed to be like the handsome, rugged man, and something yeah. like that. Of those three characters, and you're like, no, nope, kill that guy. One, not my type. Two, I just can't with. No, I can't with Clayton. No. Okay. Um. He's not even fun to hate. Like, I feel like no. a lot of Disney villains, classic Disney villains, they're fun to hate. Or you just like them. Mm -hmm. Just because. Clayton, he's just kind of, I, I don't like him. Anyway, okay. so kill Clayton. Or kill Clayton. Um, just like Carson did. Mm, Technically, he didn't. I will... Oh, yeah. I will kiss Jafar. Mm. And I will marry Hades. So we so we understand what you, we've explained why you are killing Clayton. Yes, I am curious. I think I can predict why you chose to kiss Jafar and marry Hades. 
is it more so is it more you want to marry Hades or more you don't want to marry Jafar? I want to marry Hades. Oh, okay. I want I, both. I don't want to marry Jafar. Yeah, I, well, see, that's what I mean. Like, which is the stronger... Both. I, I want to marry Hades and I don't want to marry Jafar. Well, I was like, you know, <laughs> if it wasn't Jafar, if it was like, you know, some other character that you're like, eh, you know, would be like, oh, no, I want Hades. Yeah. Okay, so that's, see, I thought it was more like, well, I don't want to marry Jafar, so Hades is just the one. No, no, I would genuinely pick Hades. Oh, okay. Um, Kissing Jafar because Jasmine did it and it wasn't too bad. Uh, so you would. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, Jafar's. You want hot. to touch the lips that touch J Jasmine. <laughs> uh, no, but Jafar's hot. He's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong okay. with Jafar. I like Jafar. He's good. He's fine. Hades, He's very though. snake like. True. Oh, yeah, I think we're snakes. Oh, yeah. That's a whole conversation I don't want to have in public. Anyway, it's not snakes, by the way, it's something else. Um, I'll explain later. Okay. Um, no, so yeah, snake, yeah, Javar is snakey, fine, he's he's hot, he's fine to kiss. Uh, Hades, though, is the god of the underworld, and I therefore would be queen of the underworld. I'm cool with that. Oh, so you're Perse Persephone. Persephone, yeah, no, we're not going to be doing what she did. We're not, there's no, we're not eating so, any, uh, is there, is there not eating pomegranate any seeds and running home to our mom of the harvest, no. No, we're just staying in the underworld and we're ruling crap and it's going to be great. Also, Hades is just fun. Like, I just feel like he's, like, he really isn't that villainous, really. He is manipulative. Yeah, but I can he work with very... that. <laughs> <laughs> if I get to be queen of the underworld, I can work with that. He's very His head is literally on fire. You know that guy is hot. <laughs> oh, but honey, you don't want to get burned. Wow. I'm uh, a, I'm I, 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 can, I can feel us losing viewers from that pun. <laughs> it was so bad. I mean, we're dealing with Disney villains yeah. here. There's no good choice. That, that, that is true. Like, there is no of good those villains, I feel like Hades is the... I can work with that. All right. I so can there, work with that. So there you go. She is killing Clayton. Yes. Uh, fun. Kissing. I interesting oh. fact I just thought of. Okay. Hades is the only other, one of the three that isn't killed at the end of the movie. Yes. Because Clayton dies at the end of his. Spoilers. See, he's alive. I have to. Ja <laughs> Jafar is killed at the end of his. Uh, at the end of the second one. Spoilers again. And, but Hades, he gets flushed down the soul toilet, which I hated. Hate it that they did the flush sound effect and made that joke. Oh, I was so mad at that joke. Because I'm just like, up until then, I didn't have a problem with any of the jokes they did. Even when it was like referencing modern stuff, but in that lens, I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. But the whole, I'm feeling kind of flushed and doing the actual toilet sound effect. I'm like, oh, God, no. Sorry. God. <laughs> so, so we are... Killing Clayton, making out with uh, Jafar, yep. and marrying Hades. Yes. Does that make me Hades? I guess, in this instance. There we go. There's Not a, really, but... That, that can be one of our future uh, couples <laughs> costumes. We can go as Disney villains, and I'll go as Hades. And you'll go as whoever you want to go as, as a Disney villain. Okay. I, you, know, you, you, you can go as... Um, um, oh, wow. I am blanking hard on this one. Uh, Cruella. Yeah. I'm good. Uh, or any other. I, I just, I am pitching ideas. Well, I don't know why I'm pitching ideas on the podcast. This seems very silly. I have gone off the rails here. The rails are all the way over there, and I'm here. I'm not on the rails anymore. So, uh, I'd like to thank you all for listening and or watching our podcast. Uh, if you wish to, if you're listening to this on Spotify, you can catch me on YouTube at Invasive Wit. Uh, Basically, on all formats, I am invasive. Way. I am on YouTube. I am on TikTok. I am on Twitch. I am. Uh, I am now also on Twitter. Um, for those who don't know, I should probably announce this on Facebook too at some point because a lot of people that follow me follow me on Facebook. Uh, but I am now I'm on Twitter and I tweet when I'm going live for my Twitch streams and when I am uploading a video. So when I upload this video and uh, also put it on Spotify, it will be uh, announced on Twitter. For those listening on the podcast, she is still playing with the Jack doll, 
and I was wrong. It is very distracting. I so. want to yell from the rooftops. <laughs> so until next time, goodbye and good luck. Bye. Oh, you know what I almost forgot to do? Maybe. The books. Oh, we don't have to do it this time. Why? Because I have a plan. So we're not doing books? No. No, we're not? No. Do you, not, do you want to? It's kind of our thing, I thought. It, okay, well, you seem so upset, then yeah, go for it. That's fine. I thought it was special. Okay. <laughs>